cooperation in a fragmented world. The first aspect of this is making sure you get your bags back, and that's before we get to the really complicated bit, getting up the mountain. That horrible moment when you think, is it or isn't it? Will it or won't it? The anxiety has begun and we haven't even left the airport. The journey begins in Zurich, on the train to Landquart. Taking the train to Davos is a rite of passage. Never mind those expensive, gas-guzzling electric limos, the train is the way to go. From Zurich to Lanquat, and then a transfer to Davos Platz. It's not the most time efficient, but as many policymakers know, sometimes the most efficient and not always the most practical. I love taking the train. As I make my way up to Davos, the exciting bit is known as the Lanquat Dash. Being Swiss Railways, of course, one train arrives quite tightly on timed, and you've got a couple of minutes to get across the station to the next. It's a bit like a sort of cooperation in a fragmented world. When it all goes according to plan, it's fine. But miss the connection? So, the wise traveller gets themselves ready for the Lanquat Dash. Many of the delegates here have had to move quickly in the past year, as Russia's war in Ukraine and persistent effects of the pandemic have led to unexpected economic outcomes. Inflation, slow growth, the prospect of global recession. It's left many out of breath. They will wait. People are still sort of struggling on, but you never really want to take that risk. There's such a great analogy here between just getting to Davos and this coordinated in a fragmented world. And also the sheer number of people who make this schlep up to Davos for WEF. It's quite amazing. I think I'm ready for a strong drink. Davos has lived through lots of changes in its 53 years, with 2,700 leaders from 130 countries all descending on the mountain village. Their work is cut out. Now we just need some snow. And it, it was indeed a fragmented journey, but there was lots of cooperation, which hopefully sets the tone for the discussions and meetings and the WEF for the rest of the week. Now, I'm committed to improving the state of the world, or something like that.